Hey guys, my name is Barry Infels and here I'll show you how to get billions of dollars in GTA San Andreas at the very beginning of the game. I mean, sure, you could stand in one spot for an hour and 28 minutes and type the cheat Hesuyam 4000 times, which will get you this amount of cash. But if you don't want to waste your time and be labeled as a dirty smelly cheater, then you should do what I'll show you in this video. Also, don't ask me why I spent an hour and a half just to show Show you this small clip at the beginning, I'm just crazy like that. Anyway, what I propose is the horse inside track betting shop. In just shy of an hour, this simple side mission will bring you a total of 1 billion 3 million 112 thousand dollars. Your results will vary depending on how you approached it and how much cash you started with. This is what I got at the end of this video. First of all, we'll need a safe house, preferably the one close to the betting shop, which costs $10,000. Since we start off with only $350, we'll need some fast money. What I propose is the drug dealers. In San Andreas, there are three variants. Killing one grants you a little over $2,000. Therefore, we need to waste five of them. They are found all over the ghetto part of Los Santos, namely where you spawn up and down the train tracks at the skate park and hospital and also mostly in Glen Park. When you see a dealer, simply run him over with your car, get off and collect all the money. This one gave me $2,004. The second one is of the same type and gave me $2,008. I found my next one at the train tracks and he is of the second type I showed off. He gave me 2005. Our fourth victim was the white hoodie guy and I found him at Glen Park. He dropped $2,007. Lastly, right next to the hospital we found our last victim and he dropped $2,003, making our total over 10000 What you need to do next is to go to this location of the map and spend $10,000 to purchase the property, leaving you with only $377. Again, your results will vary slightly. Enter your safe house and save the game. And here is where the fun begins. What we'll do is turn our $377 into this monstrosity in a few easy steps. After saving the game, grab any vehicle and head on over to this location of the map. This is the inside betting shop where we will win all our money. This is the route I'm taking, it is the shortest and fastest route, so I suggest using it. Once you're in, you wanna bet all your money on the worst odds horse, which is always the green one on the bottom. A small cutscene will play where you can witness the race itself. Don't worry if your horse does not win, this is why we did all the preparation at the start. We have a safe house, so we can just reload our game and get all our money back. If your horse loses, then just reload your game. If however you manage to win, which in my case was $4,125 from my $375 bet, you need to exit out of the shop and head to your safe house. Simply save the game and repeat the process. Immediately after saving, get out of your safe house hop onto a car, drive to the betting shop and enter it. Choose the green horse on the bottom and hope it wins. In my case it did win straight away, if yours didn't, just reload your save and try again. I'll hop back into my car, drive to the house and save the game. In my next attempt, my horse did not win, so instead of wasting your time, I'll show you my winning attempt. Here I took a primo and bet $54,000 on green. 
I won $594,000. Once again it's back to the safe house for me. It's important to save because you could lose all your money on the next attempt. Which I did and I reloaded. My next few attempts were actually very lucky because I managed to win 3 times in a row. The proof is the bike. After saving the game and reloading, any vehicle which was not in your garage will disappear. The bike did not. Which means that I did not reload. So here is this attempt where I bet $648,000 and got $7,776,000 back. Drove back to my safe house on my trusty bike and saved once again. It's back to the track for me, where I'll bet $8,424,000 on the green horse and get $101,088,000. And here is where things get a little bit annoying. If you don't know the maximum amount, you can bet is $9,999,995, which is less than what we have. This means that instead of it taking you 2 or 3 more attempts, we have to repeat this many more times. On top of that, we have to mash the space or shift button hundreds of times in the following attempts. Instead of that, however, I propose the Steam Control. I know many people don't have it and honestly it's a terrible gaming controller, but for horse racing it's perfect. Using the D-pad as the shift button makes it incredibly fast. Here is the difference between a keyboard and the Steam controller. Huge, I know. Of course the majority of you don't own it, so I guess good luck mashing the shift button for an eternity. But anyway, once you bet this amount, your winnings depend on which stats were displayed when you were choosing a horse. If it set 11 out of 1, you get this amount back. If it however set 12 out of 1, this will be the money you get. With all this knowledge, let's win the race. And here we go, it's back to the safe house for us. I'll hop back into my trusty bike and visit my safe house, taking the same route as before. I did not win my next attempt, so I reloaded and got myself a blade this time. Once I start entering the bed, you see me skip some footage. I'm doing that so the video does not become too long. Just remember that I'm using the controller and that makes betting money so much faster. Once again it was a win with the max amount, so it's time to save the game. You also notice me stand in one spot for a while after arriving at my house. I'm doing that so that you can see how much money I end up with after I win. It's not necessary, but for the demonstration and for proof I like doing it. For you it's completely not necessary. Simply arrive at the safe house and save. Here is the next attempt. This time the odds were 12 to 1. And that means that my winnings are 119,999,940 dollars, which is the max. It's time to save again. I am almost halfway done guys, almost at half a billion dollars. This time I got a Majestic from a friendly ball of fool <laughs> and drove back to the betting shop. Ballers can sometimes be helpful. I got away with a brand new car and also about 120 million in my pocket. So anyway, here is me winning. And also me driving back to save. Nothing new or unusual here. What is interesting is at the very end when things change a little bit. So keep watching. 
After saving with my majestic car, it's time for a new attempt. Of course, I did not to win straight away, and winning straight away is actually very rare. I stole a Yol Smite and drove back. This is a terrible vehicle, especially at high frame rate, but I managed to make it work. This also actually reminds me that frame rate does not matter while baiting on horses. They don't move faster and don't change their physics like cars do. You are safe to play at 144 frames like I am doing in this video. Anyway, the Yoss might give me a lot of luck because I won. And it's time to save the game again. Time for a new attempt. This time with an elegant. Keep at it boys, we have only a few to go. This might look tedious, but for me using the cheat 4000 times is much worse. This could also be considered cheating, so use it at your own risk. For me it's not, so I am fine using it. I won the max amount, because I bet on a 12 to 1 horse, and it's back to the house for me in my elegant. Alright, here we go, only two more left. Actually one and a half even, you'll see when we get there. Once again we're on the road. This time on a land stalker, or as I like calling them, a flip stalker. It just flips too much so the name fits better. I bet on the green horse. Got my cash, and it's time to head back. My pockets are very very heavy, and we have one more attempt left. Let me pause for a second and explain some things. I currently have this amount of cash. The max money displayed is this. In order to reach it on an 11 to 1 horse, we need to bet about 8 million and a half dollars. Or bet only about 8 million on a 12 to 1 horse. Betting more is okay, but just waste your time. Especially since you would probably do this a few times until you win. Anyway, back to the game. Once again it was a Yo Smite, a crappy vehicle to finish off this amazing video. I got the 11 to 1 horse, so my bet was 8 million and a half. And with that I would like to congratulate you guys, you maximized your money! This works on all versions of the game, so good luck and have fun! Thank you for watching, leave a like on the video if it helped you out! But also let's not forget my wonderful Patreon supporters! Thank you for the support, Vlados, Soup Smile, House the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson and everyone else listed on the screen! See you in the next video! Yo!